Okay. One, two, three. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Little cuckoo is streaming tonight. Ah, okay. Let's do this one more time. Let me keep this. Let me keep this there for the time being. Already did. Already did Strider. Yeah, I got one. Virtual Racing. Another one of the arcade hits at the time. What made this one extremely special was the fact that everything was done with polygons. At the time, everything was sprite based. So, yeah, this one became an instant hit. In the arcades because of the, the graphic style seemed, believe it or not, extremely realistic at the time. Okay. Alright. So this, like I say, believe it or not, seemed, compared to other races at the time, Remember that at the time, there was games like Pole Position and Outrun and stuff like that, which were sprite based. And they get a little bit more detailed, but everything was scrolling. And this one, you know, by doing it with, um, with polygons, they kind of faked the scaling effect, making it look really 3D. So, even though this version of this game does not compare, of course, to the arcade, which later I will cover that because I'm going to be showing you when I get to the point where I cover the 32X and the Sega CD. You know, better versions of their games, of the popular games in Genesis, with upgraded graphics and stuff like that. This is basically this is run of the mill stuff, you know, racing. I mean, you like racing? This is it. I, I for one, I love racing games, but this one is not really, it doesn't really do much for me. Because this is more like a F1 kind of races, which they're good, but they're not really my cup of tea. But of course I had to include them. I had to include at least, at least one virtual game. The other one would be Virtua, Virtua Fighter. But I'm not gonna cover that one on the Genesis because no, <laughs> it's not really it's not really worth your time, guys. I'd rather do it on a more powerful system. Okay. So now, what else from the biggest or the big catalog? Say your cat. Oh wait, wait, wait. Hmm.
of course, I had to cover the controversial, at least at the time, Mortal Kombat. Well, it was it wasn't a Sega game, but it became very famous. It made Nintendo and Sega very famous for a little while because there was a course of the fanboy console wars and of such that. Um, Mortal Kombat at the time when it came out, it became very popular because the Genesis version had blood and the Mortal Kombat 2 version, uh, Super Nintendo version did not. So, you know. I for one favored, even though this one is pretty pretty good. I favored the Super Nintendo one, regardless of the of the blood or lack of the blood, because all in all, I felt that it controlled better. But that's my opinion, of course. Everybody has you know, the right. This is like. Okay. There you go. The Super NES version had a lot better graphics. And in the end, they got a. Uh, call a. a blood trick. Blood code where you can, you know, get the blood or the effect of the blood either through a code or through something with the game genie, I think it was something like that. So, in the end, it favored Sega and it helped them push more systems because of the fanboys that went running and getting picking this one up because they said it was much, much better game. I don't, I don't share that opinion, but you know, for what it is, it is a good game. It is a good game. Okay. Let me see what else I, what else I can do for you guys. Zero wing. Yep. You might be asking yourself, why does he keep? Why does he keep um bringing up shooters? At the time, this was one of the genres that were more popular. This alongside RPGs, fighting games, platformers, and action games, they were, you know, the most popular genres. So. Unfortunately, down the road after 32-bit platforms started coming out and everything became polygons and graphics and stuff like that, the shooter genre kind of just died off. And now you see many indies trying to bring that back because in the end, it might be a simplistic kind of uh, type of game to, to some, but one that requires actual skill. I mean, you need to have really good reflexes to play this type of game. There's no tutorials in these kind of games. There's no uh, checkpoints. There's no save points, automatic save points. I mean, you mess up and you have to start from the beginning. You gather a whole bunch of power-ups and you get killed. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to go pick them up again. So that's why, I don't know, that's why maybe I and many other, you know, gamers kind of favored this genre. It was actually hard. Okay. 
Aha! This is special. See, all kinds of shooters, or depending on the shooter that you play, they all have similar mechanics, but they always try to differentiate themselves from one another by having a special, I don't know, a special move or a special power. In this case, contrary to um, Gaiaris that I played the other time, this one has a move where you, oh, if I didn't get killed. Well, you just press a button and you absorb one of the ships and bring them to you and use them as a shield. See? You can either throw it back at the enemies or just keep it to, to shield yourself. Ah, uh, the only problem is that you cannot absorb with that ray, you cannot absorb the shots, so... There you go. I guess it would make the game too easy. Now later on, when I start covering the Neo Deal, I mean that is if I get to cover the Neo Deal, Neo Geo has a, a few awesome shooters as well. But the glory days of this genre of games, I I have to say it was between Turbo Graphics. Yes, Turbo Graphics had, to me, had the most amount of shooters and the Sega Guns. However, the Super NES maybe didn't have as as many games in the shooter genre as the other two, but the quality of those shooters were way beyond what the competitors could do. That I know for a fact. Oh! Yep. That's it for me. Okay. Fair enough. Let's grab another one. Still doing good time. Okay. Now this became... This one became a fan favorite and a favorite of mine at that time too. This one I won't be able to play as much because it's kind of like an action RPG and of course those take a lot of time but this one kind of stood out uh, mostly because of graphics, gameplay uh, everything came together, the music it was really really a well crafted game and it stood out in the uh, Sega Genesis Donna Wesson Only three letters, huh? Okay. You have your overworld map and your striking move. And weirdly enough you have with a button you have a ducking move. Hmm. How do I talk with you? Human. Hey, that sounded like Pac-Man. Bob is pissed off. 
Sí, la sangre del Hackman. This is cheese. Really? I got me some cheese. How nice. And I got one weapon and Save. Okay, can I get this fish? Come on, old man, let me take the fish. Please. Alright, I'm out. Yeah, we're going to the woods. Want to have some fun. We're going to smack everybody around. But for some reason, I I need I don't know I I need a little bit of motivation to to, to be playing this game. I don't know. Whoa. By the way, that music that I have on is a band called Contra. And it's copyright free music, so Twitch should mute it, hopefully. Like I said, this is going to take a lot, a lot of time. So as you can see, you know, it has pretty awesome graphics. You know, considering the power of the Genesis, so yeah, it was one of those very nice, very cool, popular games at the time for the Genesis. Oh, 
already did Gunstar Heroes, which is a really badass game. And we have the Punisher. Ah, yes. I'm a good game. Nice. And the button placement is as you would expect it on the A button. Punch. That's right. Need some pizza. Jump, and it's supposed to be. That's what I call forward thinking. Give me that money. Over here. Of course, being a comic book fan. I had to have one of these. Yes, you can run but you can't hide. And this is the best part. You get to shoot. Ah! Give me some of that chicken. Dad. No, 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 no. Smoke oh, that. Damn, I'm just picking up the bat. Now, nah, let me tell you something. Slice and little motherfucker. Get over here. You're gonna make me rage out. No, 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 you won't. Aha, I like that. I don't see you slicing me anymore, huh? What? Now, this is appropriate. Here we are in the mosh pit. Oh shit. And 
give out a nice little special move. Can I use it? Can I use it again? Oh, this guy, for being such a big guy, is pretty quick. Oh! Everybody dies in the mosh pit. Oh shit, Scully? Scully, you're one fucking fast dude. Not fast enough, bitch. Oh, I just got a little bit of health. No, 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 no. Alright. So alive. So alive! Oh! Get over here! Ah! Busted your ass with the time. Alright! So that was stage one of Punisher! There's been different Punishers for different consoles, of course. Each one has their own perks. This one is actually pretty nice. And of course, you get to shoot. Not only fist fight, so that's good. That's always good. Okay, let's select. Our next one. Let's get... What can we get? We got Raiden Trod with a shooter. Oh. <laughs> of course. You can ever forget this guy. That's right, Rambo. Mm hmm, Rambo 3. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, I had to go full retard there, but you know, that's who I am. So yeah, Rambo. You see options, difficult to normal players. Give me, a, give me, give me some more lives. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Controls. Select special Mac. Uh, okay, whatever. Let's go. Do this. Hoy no he hablado casi español. Aquellos que vean el video, este, disculpen. Eh, esta ha sido una experiencia bien rara. Este, ayer resolví todos los problemas del sonido, aparentemente, y hoy te prometí un par de huevadas este, mostrando algunos juegos que me puse a jugarlos y no aparecían en mi pantalla. Problema de coordinación. Pero si sí estoy aquí, me acuerdo de ustedes también, y cualquier cosita, se unen al al chat y me pueden hablar y me pueden hacer comentarios o lo que sea y yo les contesto que son bienvenidos también right. so let me get this straight I have this one to shoot I have this one to select which means that I can oh wait Oh, there we go. Ah! And I got 10 bombs. Aha! So that means I can do this. Oh, that's nice. Okay. So this type of game is more or less... 
I can't say it's a Contra type of game. I, it would be more like, um, oh my god, how what was the name of this game that you had like that eight directional shooting? Oh, uh, I forgot. I have to remember it now because now it's gonna be bugging me. Nope, didn't place it good close on. Come on, give me a yeah, give me another chance. Alright. Let's go. Let's do it again. So I'm going to select. I'm gonna use Okay, this is kind of like, uh, I don't know if you guys remember uh, Commando from Capcom. It has that kind of vibe. And the other one, I'm trying to remember the other one. Holy shit, that's it. That's you, man, sucker. I can't get him with him. He's gonna shoot at me. Shoot, shoot, shoot at me. And I destroyed him. <laughs> Can't shoot him with that. I need a bomb! have an uncanny ability of just shooting me with these homing shots but for some reason follow me look at that okay you got to see Rambo and you got to see me suck at playing Rambo so now let's go let's see which one of these Gonna be the lucky, the lucky choice. Now, of course, I I stated many times before, I'm not really into sports. Uh, so that's why you guys won't see me put on any uh, John Madden or Joe, Joe Montana or you know stuff like that. I do like baseball, but it's just you know in video games I tend not to play that much baseball. I used to back in the day maybe play a few of the NES or the SNES ones like Ken Griffey and stuff like that, but not really my cup of tea either. So. Sorry about that, guys. Okay, what else? Hmm. I'm trying to look for you guys here. Uh, Not in. Oh, wait, okay. Never mind. That can wait. This sucker right here. Look at that. Look at that logo. That's treasure. Uh huh. One of the, to me, one of the, probably one of the top five all-time favorites from the Genesis console. And I cannot believe it was in the, almost in the top of the list in alphabetical order. And I just went through it. I forgot completely. Alien Soldier, made by Treasure. Treasure, yes. I keep mentioning them because they did some amazing stuff in the 16-bit era. This was one of them. This was one of the games that actually didn't do much damage to the SNES and the US market because the 
the game never actually came to the States. It was only released probably in Japan and, and Europe. As I understand, I could be I could be wrong. If I am, I, I'm sorry, but that's what I understand. But this game is completely awesome. It's it's really hard too. Wow, boy. Look at that. Super hard or super easy? What what kind of choice is that? Super hard or super easy? Hmm. The hell with it. Let's go for it. Now this has some control. This part here is very hard to get. I mean, you, you need to really understand what you're getting into. The type of control varies, the type, you can customize how the life meters are going to be represented. You get to customize a lot of stuff, and this kind of customization in the 16-bit era was unheard of. So, yeah, I have the Buster Force here. This one, green force, soft force, homing. Status window, I'll keep it just like treasure games. I like to keep them standard, like they always do their games with numbers instead of meters. Now this is the this is the fun part. Trying to remember all the controls with the limited buttons with the three buttons set. So you got weapon select with A, shot with B, and jump with C only. God. Jump and see. By the way, this game is not your regular run of the mill final fight type of deals or contra kind of games. This is basically you remove all the levels from a regular contra game, and when you get to the end boss, that's basically what this game is made of. It's made of bosses. Bosses, bosses, bosses. You fight bosses over and over, and it's hard, and it's awesome, and its graphics and effects are way beyond many, many, many of the games in the Genesis platform. So, okay, I've blabbered enough. Let me see what I can do. Okay, control test. Jumping. And that's for hovering. So you gotta press twice to to hover and then to set a port to power. I ain't gonna remember half of this shit. And to change the, the shoot mode. That's what you need to remember the most. You will bring it up here and you switch or you simply Alright, let's go for it. This will probably be the last game we're gonna cover today. Well, you see, this is one of the things that makes this awesome. You got eight directional firing when you keep holding the button down. You cannot move, but you still got 
all this range of movement for your firing. Again, at the time, this was unheard of. Oh. No, 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 no. Come on, you blabbering thing. I need the homing. I need the homing. There you go. That's the homing. That doesn't damage them. Get out of here. Why? The teleport. Oh, I messed up. I got the wrong weapon for this guy. See what I mean? there big fat announcement that you were dead besides that the game is really awesome if you stick to this game I mean if you get a Genesis console and there's only one game that you could get I would wholeheartedly recommend this would be the one this is a badass game just stick with it it's hard to get to master the controls in the beginning, but once you get used to them, like I did back in the day when I got my, my hands on it for the first time, incredible, incredible, and hard game. You beat this game, you can say you are hardcore. That being said, I really thank you for, you know, uh, sticking with me and seeing the whole thing. Okay. Uh, later on, I'm gonna come back with uh, an SNES tribute. That one is gonna be more planned out. I'm gonna give myself a few days to get that ready. And yeah, we're gonna explore the magical world of SNES, Nintendo SNES. And it's gonna be awesome. You guys are gonna like it. Um, yeah, so you guys take care. Thanks a lot. Please subscribe. Uh, you know, make an account on Twitch and, and, and follow me and follow me on Twitch and YouTube. All of these videos are going to be, hopefully I'm going to edit them and, um, you know, like tonight, tonight's stream that was a little messed up because of the confusion with the screens and stuff. I'll try to edit that out. So if you want to watch that thing on YouTube, it will probably be edited out. Thanks a lot for everything and see you guys later. Take care.